Hi, I'm Brian Sloboda. Today, Siren is on the road in Delaware, where we're visiting with Delaware Electric Cooperative. The folks here at Delaware were presented with the unique challenge of providing electric service to help their farmers irrigate fields. So let's visit with the Delaware staff and one of their members and learn more about how they achieved this goal. Bill, explain the program here for your, uh, your Eden Drives. Well, Delaware Electric Cooperative wanted to look at how we're going to develop our new business program. Looking at the farming community, they've been doing very well with the price of grain rising. So we looked at how can we help our farmer members and grow our load at the same time. We developed an irrigation program that provided an incentive, an aid to construction incentive for our farming community to build irrigation systems. We found out we were leaving a lot of irrigation systems on the table because we didn't have three phase near, near enough or affordable for the farm community to build out to three phase. So we developed a, a, a solution to that. Okay, uh, Troy, this is the, uh, the variable frequency drive that uh, Bill talked about. Can you take us through the setup from the transformer all the way to the end of the system and explain uh, what you guys did? All right, well, first off, what we did with this, our typical transformers that we have are 120, 240 volts. And what we wanted to do different than any other program we've done before is we're actually supplying the farmer with 240, 480 volts. So this eliminates the need for the farmer to have to install a step-up transformer to get the 480 volts. So we're going from the 480 volt transformer directly into the meter, meter pan with two or four, single phase 480 volts to the disconnect switch into the VFD. And the VFD is what creates the three phases. So it's a mechanical, it's a electronic phase converter versus a mechanical phase converter. This is the line coming in from the meter. It comes into the disconnect switch for the VFD. It goes from the disconnect switch down into the VFD itself. And then from the VFD it comes out, goes out to the filter in the back of the system. And then from the filter, it goes to a trough in the back that splits it into the disconnect for the irrigation into the well itself. Uh, now, Troy, typically a variable frequency drive is going to produce a lot of harmonic distortion. Um, is your filter able to handle that? And have you seen any other um, adverse effects of the, uh, the VFD? Uh, with this program, with this one here, what we wanted to do was put it on an irrigation system that was going to be in extreme conditions. So this pivot here is 1,400 feet long, and the filter that we have is built to handle that. And when we first put this in, we had Eaton come down and they hooked up an oscilloscope to the line side of the meter, load side of the meter, and load side of the filter, and also took measurements out at the end of the pivot. And what we did was compared all the sine waves together to make sure they all matched up. So there was no problems that we had with harmonics. There's no voltage spikes. Everything's been running perfect. Now, how efficient has the system been so far? Oh, it's been very efficient. A typical rotophase system is about 80 percent efficient. The VFD is 96 to 97 percent efficient. So, uh, Troy, from the, the pad mount to the, the drive and the filter, how much does this system cost? The cost to the farmer on this, they don't pay for the transformer the way our tariff is written. The transformer is given to them. But to get the wire run from the primary lines out on the road out to here, which was approximately 13, 000, or 1,300 feet, it cost uh, about $8,000. And the way we do it with non-residential, we split the cost. So it only cost the farmer 4,000 bucks to get his wire out here. And then the VFD itself, with the VFD and the filter, was around $12,000. Okay, Troy, what are some of the advantages of the VFD? Uh, some of the advantages of the VFD is that you no longer need a soft start. The VFD acts as a soft start itself. The way we have this one programmed, it takes 30 seconds to get up to 60 hertz. So that's 30 seconds for the motor to get up to full speed. Yeah, now, Troy, with a typical diesel motor, there's a lot of maintenance involved. What's the maintenance uh, schedule for something like this? There's no maintenance schedule for this. The, the VFD itself is meant to last 10 years in the field, and part of that problem is going to be from the capacitors discharging and no longer being able to hold a charge. If there is any problems with it, this screen right here will tell you what a fault condition is, and then from the fault condition, we can look in the manual and see what's wrong, whether it be an overvoltage, an overcurrent, undercurrent, undervoltage. So this screen is crucial because essentially the VFD is a computer itself. Troy, what advice would you have for other engineers that are looking to do a similar sort of setup? The advice that we would have to make sure that you talk with the farmer in detail and to talk with the irrigation installer themselves because a lot that has to do with the VFD is placement of the well to the pivot to the power source. And for an ideal setup, you're going to want to have the transformer, the meter, the VFD, 
and the irrigation controls all together. Because if you start separating the, the well out in one direction, the irrigation controls out in the other direction, you're gonna have to worry a lot more about harmonics on the irrigation system. Okay. Great, thank you very much, Troy. You're welcome, thanks. Uh, Adam, can you describe the farm to us, how big it is, and, and what sort of uh, type of uh, crop do you grow here? Okay, the farm is 80 acres. It's roughly 74 tillable, um, roughly 70 irrigated. Um, th this year there's corn planted in, in the whole thing this year. Before I had the VFD in here, I had a diesel generator. It was, it was a cat diesel with a 60kW, burnt roughly three gallons of diesel fuel per hour. And that was when diesel fuel was right around 350 a gallon. So the cost to run that the whole year probably would have been close to 8000 so far with 500 hours on the system, the electric cost has been $1,100. If it were to have been diesel fuel, it would have been roughly $4,200 at today's market. So you're pretty happy in terms of the cost component? Very happy. The corn behind me is high as an elephant's eye, due in large part to the fact that it's an irrigated field. Now the folks here at Delaware Electric Cooperative have found an excellent and innovative way to irrigate these fields and lower costs. Now, Delaware and other co-ops, such as Tri-State Electric, have been testing VFDs. To learn more about VFDs and other ways to help agricultural members, visit the Sierra Center for Energy Innovation on cooperative.com.